Okay, so welcome back. In our previous video, we have basically set up our error, error middleware, and then we have set up this. We are sending back our error like this, right? So as I explained before, I want to separate my development errors and the production errors because I only want to show the exact message, like product not found only to the non-programmer user that is using our application in the production mode, all right? So what I do is. We know that we have manage a variable that is not env that contains development or production. Right now, if you're running it in development mode, then it will be in development. If it is in production mode, then it will be in production. All right. So first of all, what I do is I simply remove this line from here, and I type here that if if process dot env dot not env equals to the development. All right, so if it is in development, then I simply have to res dot status. I want to send here the err dot status code, and then in dot json, I have to first of all send here success to false. I also pass here error, which is the uh, error itself. All right. And then we have to also display here the error message that is er dot message and we also display here the stack not stack not stock it is stack so stack is err dot stack so when we are in development mode i want to display all the stuff related to the error like the stack the message the error itself and success to false but if we are in production mode i will simply type here that if process dot env dot not env equals to uh, production then we simply have to um, before before like sending it i create a copy of error here i simply type here let error and i simply spread it the error in simple words I'm going to create a copy of this error here and then I will simply type here error dot message is going to be the err dot message so you have simply assigned the err dot message to the error dot message and now if I simply cut it from here this one paste it inside here oops I need to cut it and paste it here. So I simply type here as dot status will be the same as the because we have now a copy of error. So now this is not error. This is the error dot status code, and then success to false. And I simply type here message that is going to be error dot message. So error dot message, or if it doesn't exist then it is going to be the internal server error all right so now i think so it is it is fine if it will work perfectly if i save it and now it is running in development mode if i go back to my postman you can see that we only have success and error from previous video now if i click on send from here you can see that we get here success error the error message which is product not found and the complete error stack not because we are in the development mode but if i go to back to my vs code and run it in production mode so npm run fraud and uh, so now it is running in production mode if i go back to my postman and click on send from here now it is only giving the exact message which is product not found right this is what i want to do this is optional but i recommend it uh, using it because it basically separates our uh, errors in development and production all right so it is broken properly i hope that you understand we simply have separate our errors depending on the node env value all right i also have to handle the asynchronous error if i go back to my product controller you can see that it may this line may contain some error so rather than wrapping this complete code in the try catch block I will add a global uh, uh, catch async error handler 
that will handle all the errors relating to the asynchronous all right so i will handle that in my next video or you can also you uh, wrap all this content in the try catch log if you want but i will get a global handler for this type of errors right so i will see you in the next video